Hello future accordion player, I'm Yelena from Liberty Bello Shop and today I will teach you how to play major chords on arpeggio and a B system chromatic button accordion. Let's get started! Every scale is like its own color palette. It has primary colors and secondary colors. The primary tones stabilize the melody and the secondary notes create movement towards the stable tones. The most important tones are 1st, 3rd and 5th. I will not tell why they are the most important and I won't tell a whole music theory here because video will be too long. But if you want to know more information, you are always welcome to take private lessons in Liberty Bello and we will be happy to fill you in. So, the main tones are 1st, 3rd and 5th. Let's find them on a C major scale. C major scale consists of C, D, E, F, G, A, D, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We need 1st, 3rd, 5th tones, which will be C, E, G. If you press these three notes together, you will get a chord. If you will press this note separately, it's an arpeggio. Three or more sounds pressed together is a chord. And three or more sounds pressed separately is an arpeggio. showed you an old style technique. There are two different types of fingering, the old style and the new style. For the old style people don't use their thumbs, so they play like this. The new style technique is more modern and people use their thumbs. Which technique to use is your own decision. which fingers you will be using. It all depends on the different performers. The main thing, you should feel comfortable. It's good to know that these chords on arpeggio fingering you can use for every third row and second row major scales. Let me demonstrate. <laughs> Thank you. 
for eight major scales using those fingering. It gives you a huge advantage. <laughs> and accordion you can play chords and arpeggios for all 12 major scales with those fingering basically you can play first row scales chords and arpeggios from the fourth row let me demonstrate <laughs> I recommend you go and buy it <laughs> and make your life more easier because playing chords and arpeggios from the first row is mission hard possible. Don't worry, I will show you fingering for this in case you want to torture yourself or do yoga for your fingers. <laughs> Straight enough, I can show you four sounds, chords, and arpeggios. And you will be dead. Basically, you're using index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and pinky for the old technique. You're using them all because you don't have like any choice here. So it's look like this. <laughs> just don't understand how people can play it fast, really. Ah, I already feel hurt in my arm. As for me, the new style of technique also doesn't make it more comfortable. Basically, you're using the thumb at the beginning and at the end, so in the middle you're using the same fingers, which is still not comfortable. I can't imagine how people do it. I prefer to play it from the fourth row and don't break my mind or my fingers. Uh, 
I prefer to feel comfortable when I'm playing <laughs> and don't make my life harder than it is. It's music and it's played with a joy and relax. That's why I make my own fingering. My fingering for me much comfortable. <laughs> Why not? I'm a professional musician, I can do that. <laughs> we can do it, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. If you want more stressings for your fingers, let's play four sound scores from the first row. <laughs> I told you, <laughs> I told you this is a mess, but some people like challenges, and they played from the first row somehow, good luck to them. <laughs> see a big difference there because in the middle it's still uncomfortable postscriptum this is my own version of the fingering i just gave it as an example i don't tell you have to play like me no play or not to play be or not to be it's your call i just give it as an example better to use a five row accordion and I prefer play it from the fourth row and don't torture yourself and your arm. <laughs> or you can create your own fingering which will be comfortable for you. Why not? But if you are not professional, I am not recommend you to do it because you can hurt your arm. Some musicians play scales, arpeggios and chords with weird fingers, uh, like with a ring finger or with pinky or with a thumb. Uh, they do it for purpose. The idea is to train your fingers. like. <laughs> We all have strong fingers and weak fingers. In my case, the most stronger fingers are thumb, uh, index finger and middle finger. So I can play fast with those fingers. I will not play fast if I will use a, a ring finger or pinky. See? But I can play fast using this string. But I guess I just can train them, but it's a physiological. We play in scales, arpeggios, chords, and etc. for training our fingers. It's like a gym. You go into gym and you train muscles you don't use in real life, right? And here's a big difference between small practice and hurting yourself. Another thing is the fingering for tune or for composition. They are always should be comfortable for you. You will never play fast with jump, arm. Your arm should be relaxed and comfortable. Congratulations, you just learned how to play chords and arpeggios for every major scale. Stay with us for more lessons on the V-System chromatic button accordion. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to learn how to play piano or button accordion, you are always welcome to come to libertybello.com. We offer lessons in store and online. Have a nice evening, day, night, and see you soon.